Don Honcho. That is a very powerful card because it's statted very aggressively. You add the stats together, which I believe you can do in a metagame that's slower, and I feel like uh, the Grimy Goons metagame is going to slow down. There weren't that many aggressive cards printed. In fact, I can't even think of a single aggressive card. I'm in charge now. This is a card that I think is just pretty terrible. Like even in Reno, where you want more hard removal, like Siphon Soul, you're only really happy playing this card on turn 10. Uh, if you can use the word happy, I don't think you need Blast Crystal Potion. I don't think this is necessary. You would never play it as just like a normal card um, in like a mid rangey deck. And you certainly won't play it in control over your other options. Uh, even in a Reno type of list, so I think it's pretty unplayable. Um, not a very good constructed card in my opinion, just because there's so many good options out there for the control style Warlock decks. They have all these new amazing board clears, they have, you know, all those old and still very relevant and powerful single target removal spells. Having this is like, eh, I don't know, it just seems a bit overkill. Most of the time when you're playing a control Warlock deck, you really value getting to the later turns and getting a lot of mana crystals. This kind of deter you from doing that, so I, I just think it it might work in some kind of deck, but it's gonna be a deck that we haven't seen so far. The a second rate bruiser, he is crying because he's not that good. It's now my argument is if your opponent has three, at least three minions, like why do you want to play a three mana four five taunt anyways? Right? Like you just you just don't. It's a zero mana, it's a zero star card, and it's not gonna get played. Well, besides one mana just for a 2-2 two -two being decent, uh, I'd mentioned if you play this on turn 1 and then turn 2, you got a 5-4 on turn 2. So I've also rated two of the Hunter Beasts, uh, Buff Lover cards, as 5 stars, which is part of the setup for why Smuggler's Crate is great. And I've got Trog Beast Rager, so besides two mana 4-3s being pretty good, see Totem Golem, which is two mana 3-4, you might be surprised to see it at 5 stars, but it's going to see play in the buffs, probably, so it's gonna be great. That's a really efficient card. It's 3 mana 3-3, three, three, but actually kind of a 3 mana 5-5, five, five, since it's buffing minions in your hand. This one's the one that possibly makes Doppelgangster really good in Hunter as well. 3 mana 5-5? Five, five? Yeah, auto and cloud, really good. Forget about secret Hunters. This type of Hunter is much stronger now. Just play a, bu a bunch of minions and Hunt Masters. Even if you buff Hunt Masters, it's pretty useful. Yeah, auto and cloud, really good. Small time Buccaneer, 1 mana, 1 2 Pirate, has plus 2 attack when you have a weapon equipped. So, good road card. Otherwise, mm, not so good. But uh, we'll see. They're introducing a lot of pirates. I think they still have to introduce a lot more before they're really going to shine. Uh, this is an interesting card that's kind of reminiscent, of course, of Injured Blade Master. Uh, it's a three drop that damages itself, and it does so though in a way that is better for a lot of what Priest wants to do than Injured Blade Master. So I think this is actually a pretty powerful card. Uh, it, it, it's obviously not a Priest card, but it kind of feels like it might as well be a Priest card uh, because you do need to be able to heal it to take advantage of it in any significant sense, uh, but I think that if you can, uh, this can be very, very powerful, and I do think that this uh, can potentially give uh, Priest decks even more options for those early turns uh, if they do care about that healing effect. If you get to smork the face, this turns into a random 6 mana 1-1, one, one. I mean a 6 mana minion, um, and that's pretty cool, right? Uh, 4 mana, summon, uh, su summon a random 6 mana creature, it's a pretty good rate, like it's pretty sweet. Like, it's a little bit understated, it's fine. But the upside of this card, I think, is high enough that you want to play this, right? Uh, like, six mana cards are like Bold of Fist Ogres. Why wouldn't you want to play a four mana six seven, right? With no overload, right? It's actually pretty good. So I would rate this guy kind of, like, I want to be very optimistic with this card because four mana summon a random six cost minute is pretty damn sweet. So, I would give this 4 stars, just because I believe in this. Moving on, we have a card that I'm surprised there's been so little discussion about this card. This card worries me so much. Greater Arcane Missiles. Whew. I am surprised that they made this card. It's like, it's like, how do I describe this? It's like a, a flame strike that's not dead in control matchups. I... 
just seems nuts to me. Like, it's better than Firelands Portal, in my opinion. It's better than Flame Strike, in my opinion. I I'm playing two of this and all my aggressive mage decks. The card seems stupid good to me, so. I mean, I don't want to say it was a mistake, but it's like... I guess I'm glad they just printed, like, a good spell uh, for the first time in a while, but it's, like, a really good spell. I mean, it's, it's like a game-defining spell, right? It's like, I play this, and it wins me the game on its own, and they haven't, played, they haven't made a spell that powerful in a very long time. Cabal Courier, Battlecry, discover a Mage, Priest, or a Warlock card. So here we have a 3-drop, where we first had a 2-mana 1-1, one, one. we have here a 3-mana 2-2. Two, two. I think this one is even... Worse. Yeah, I don't think this card can make it. It's uh, it's too weak for the mechanic it does. Uh, ultimately, Life Tap, Thought Steal, Arcane Intellect all outclass it. Uh, I thought that it wouldn't see play. And I tried to build a Reno deck in each, and I ultimately found a better card than Cabal Courier. Sergeant Sally was an amazing card uh, revealed earlier. And uh, yeah, uh, it has some significant synergies. Uh, it is extremely powerful with Power Overwhelming, and I think in general it's just pretty good in a deck that has a lot of buffs. Now I'm going to play this Fire, play this creature. Death Lord from past just seems much better. To it is Taunt, and the opponent doesn't get a minion immediately. It's a big deal, like, you, you just feel, in most cases you'll give your opponent something to trade into your 2-6. <laughs> What's the point? Seems really bad. Dirty Rat is a card that I considered putting onto the one star category, and I probably should have, but I took pity on the rat. Now, uh, a lot of card a lot of guys think this is a very good card because it has a very big body as taunt, it should be really good. Okay, so there are two good situations with this card, okay? So situation number one. You play Dirty Rat, you summon a 3-2 from their hand, so something like a Hunter 3-2 or whatever. At that point, are you really playing a 2-mana two 2-6 two taunt? If the 3-2 hits your Dirty Rat, you're just summoning a 2-mana two 2-3 two taunt, right? Does that make sense? So effectively, you're just like killing your opponent's card, which is fine, I guess, in that sense. But that's like the best situation, alright? Like, not too good. Um, another good situation is that you do not play this on turn 2. And then you wait until you play this with a removal spell in your hand, such as, oh, I don't know, um, let's think of like, what's, what's a good removal spell that just kills everything? Execute, okay, let's do that. So, or oh, Shield Slam, Shield Slam is good, okay, Shield Slam. So you're playing Warrior, you play Dirty Rat, and then you bait out your opponent's, you know, Nazoth, or you bait out their um, Emperor, and then you Shield Slam it immediately. Like, that can actually screw up some combos, like, you know, you can do it against, like, uh, Malagos Rogue, for example. Like, that could be cool, but then you're not playing a 2-mana two 2-6 two taunt, you're playing a 8-mana, you know, destroyer combo potential. So, like, that's also pretty fringe. So if you add up all these situations, it's a bad card, right? Like, situation 1 sucks, situation 2, make a 2-3 taunt, that sucks. Situation 3, combo killer, where you can just run better cards, that sucks. So Dirty Rat, in that case, is a sucky card. I will give it 1 star though, just because the combo, the combo potential of screwing your opponent's Emperors and screwing your opponent's Malagos is kind of there. But outside of that, I don't really want to use it in the first two situations. Pint Size Potion, best card in Priest, oh baby, it's the best card in Priest. This card is the sickest card. I think this card is amazing. This card is insane. Like, holy fuck a moly. Are we serious right now? Is this really happening? Like, I'm not sure this is real life right now. Do we go down the rabbit hole where there's a shitty game designer who's like, you know what? I think Priest needs to win all their games and they made this. Are we serious right now? Raza the Chain. Oh, this card. Oh, gosh. Um. Ah. <sighs> uh. I don't know. I, I don't... I don't think this is great. I really don't think this is great. I don't think this is great. I don't think this is a great card. <laughs> I don't think this is great. <laughs> I don't think this is great. 
Claw Courier, discover a Mage, Priest, or Warlock card. Absolutely horrific. No, no one on these. I, I don't like this. No, I think this is a weak card. I think it's a very weak card. This card is sensational. This card is... This is probably the best card we've seen. I mean, wow! This card is insane. A 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. That's fine. Give all of it in your hand and deck plus one attack. Get the fuck out of Texas. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is good in Pirate. This is good in Control. This is the best card we've seen. This is amazing. Ink Master Solia. I, I saw this card. I think this card sucks ass. And this is a terrible card. <laughs> I think this card is... Oh. Full. This card sucks. I think this is the worst card that I, we've looked at thus far after the zero mana freeze. This might, this is what I would expect to be the most surprising analysis based upon what we've seen in chat. I think this is truly a, a horrifically bad card. I think it will be run in no decks successfully. This is probably the, I, this is the most firm opinion I have of anything that we've seen.